Hello everybody. We are back today uh, with a large blazing vortex 100 blister pack opening. Um, we haven't been posting a whole lot of videos here lately, um, but we're working on getting everything, you know, organized and and some some more videos planned out. And we're going to be opening up a ton of product this year. I've got a lot of sealed products set aside. We're going to go actually do a sealed product video, but today. We are going to open up these 100 booster packs, 100 blister packs of Blazing Vortex and see if we can get a Starlight. That is the goal, to see if we can pull a Starlight from 100 blister packs. It's a little bit of a challenge. I spent a lot of money on these, but hey, this is what we're here for. We're here to have fun. We're here to open packs and we're here to see if we can pull that starlight rare from this set we're going to crack all these blisters open and then we will get started opening these packs we'll be right back and we are still going here. whoops all right so we have finally finished cracking all those blisters open and man that was a lot of work i don't think i ever want to have to do that again at least by myself Lauren's not here today right now because she's downstairs doing plant stuff. So without any, you know, further me, further ado of me talking, let's open these packs. A hundred booster packs of Blazing Vortex. Um, you know, that's equivalent to just over four box, four booster boxes. So, you know, we're going to see if we can pull a Starlight because this is four booster boxes, but this is blisters. So we want to see what the ratios are going to be like. I'm going to go through the first couple cards. And then we're just going to go straight to the foils. We're going to set all of them to the side. Because we got a lot of packs to open. 100 blisters. Walmart buyout. I literally went to three... Three different stores and bought out uh i think three of them uh one of them that was close to me had an entire display of like 40 something packs and we bought all of them and now we're gonna see if we can pull a starlight because pulling a starlight out of four booster boxes probably not gonna happen right but with the, oh, there's a kit, that's good. Um, you know, the, the, the ratios and everything for blisters is probably a little bit better maybe. So we're hoping to pull, uh, you know, lots of secret errors obviously. Psychic eraser laser. We may pull straight neg and pull a bunch of junk and we're probably going to neg really hard. So, you know. Don't do this, kids. Don't go spend all your money like I do. Make sure you pay your bills first. All right, there's an Ultra. Cool. First Ultra. Arm Dragon Thunder level 7. I'm also building a lot of the decks uh, from this set because, you know, Blazing Vortex is GX themed. And there's Wind Witch cards. There's um, the Arm Dragons, obviously. The War Rocks. I'm, I'm going to build, like, all of these decks. The Spriggans. So, I mean, why not buy all the shit that you need, right? <laughs> That's the way I looked at it. Um, probably we'll never do this again unless we you know, get super lucky, but who knows? Maybe when Dawn Majesty comes out later this year uh, with all those new Stardust cards, I might do the same thing. We'll just have to see. So, you know. Can't wait to hear you about you, know, you guys' comments of uh, how we do, so we'll see. Meteor Reactor Giga Drop. I'm really hoping to see if we can just pull what? Let's see, two secrets per box. Hopefully, we can pull eight secrets, if not more. I doubt it because these are blisters and you know the randomness is pretty crazy, but we'll see. Sometimes the, sometimes the luck is a little bit better. Arm Dragon Thunder level five. So this is gonna be a long one. That is 100 booster packs, 100 blisters. This could go amazing. This could go absolutely horrible. 
but I wanted to do it. S-Force Gravitino, all right, so there's another Ultra. I'm also building the S-Force deck, so hopefully we can get a lot of the stuff that we need for, you know, three of these decks. Nice, another Arm Dragon Thunder. This is gonna be a long one. Psychic Eraser Laser. How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Tyranitar Giga Draw. We've done some buyouts before, I believe. Oh, there's the Diamond Bell. I haven't seen this yet. That's pretty cool. I didn't pull that from my sneak box. My box was actually not that good from Sneak Peek. I opened it up on a, oh, Bridgehead. Nice, there's a Secret Rare, okay. First Secret Rare is Bridgehead. Right. Decent card, need it for the, uh, for the S-Force deck. I believe I pulled, I'll have to shout out the channel, I'll put it in the description, um, for my box opening that I did at Sneak Peek a few weeks ago, if you guys wanna check it out. I pulled the uh, Arm Dragon as well as the uh, one of the S Force cards. Uh, I can't quite remember exactly what off the top of my head, but uh, I believe it's a secret there. Um, but yeah, Arm Dragon Thunder. So I should have pretty much everything I need for the Arm Dragon deck except the Arm Dragon Flashes, so I'm hoping to pull a few of those. War Rock. Then again, you never know. The blister packs are, you know, super random. Grand C, Gold, whatever that is. I can't tell. 100 booster packs. This is a little crazy. I spent a lot of money. Be smart. <laughs> Don't do dumb stuff like this. And man, it took a long time to get all those, all these out of blisters. I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do. All right, this guy is actually pretty good. He's not good right now, but um, I think he's gonna be really good in the future as an instant, as a uh, super poly target. A synchro exceeds in a link. Probably in the near future, that guy's gonna be good. And I had to throw all these booster packs just kind of out randomly across the table as I was doing this because it took a while to open all these blisters, so. Can we do it? Can we get, oh nice, there's another level 10. So far only one secret rare. Um, how many packs we're going through yet, but I don't even think we're even close to. It looks like a Thunderbolt, maybe one box so far, so maybe 24 packs. Still got a lot to go. Mahavila, I think this card looks awesome, and her retrain is really cool. Get that focus. Struggling with the focus here. All right, or a fist. All right. Let's see what we got here. As we throw a lot of this stuff around here. Another EMR, jeez. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. All right, the Seven Cities of the Golden Land, another Ultra. Yes, this set isn't that great in value-wise, um, you know, estimated value pulls and stuff. Uh, but like I said, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the GX stuff. And, uh, I really like some of the decks that are in here, so I plan on building them. And why not take a chance at, you know, buying a whole bunch of packs and seeing what we can get. I am excited for Dawn of Majesty. I think the set's gonna be amazing. The new Stardust stuff is really looking cool. Fabled. Fabled cards, that's right. Fabled's were in here as well. Totally forgot about that. I think their new cards are pretty good. War Rock. So far, we have only pulled one secret rare, and that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. So this could be really bad. War Rock. Oh, I haven't seen this guy. Right, Bash, Bash Shelios. Man, we're, we have, we're pulling decent, like, decent with the Ultras, but still got a long way to go. Mahavilo again. I think that card looks awesome. Can we get <laughs> lots of war rocks? Again, these are all random. Picked up pretty much all the packs from three different stores. Oh, there we go. Another secret rare. Yes. All right. Good deal. Picked up all these packs from like three different stores. So. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how the, our, our luck fares us over, you know, three stores. <laughs> I got another arm dragon, so I'm happy with that. Even though he's not the worst, you know, expensive. He's gone down quite a bit, but uh, I'm happy to pull that. And the bridgehead as well. And Stellar, that's the first one of that guy. Let's see, what else? Uh, we, the Underworld got us. I'd really like to pull one of those. Oh, the new Dragoonity. I totally forgot this was in here. He looks awesome. He's going in the Dragoonity deck. Totally forgot he was in here. Um, What was I talking about? Uh, the Underworld Goddess card, the Link 5. I think that card's really cool. Um, the artwork's fantastic, too. So we're hoping to see if we can pull one of those. As well as the pot, the pot of prosperity. I don't know. Oh, the new Lila, the Lila Treat, Live Twin Lila Treat, and the artworks on the Live Twin are really good. The pot of prosperity, I believe it's called. I don't remember, but I'm Dragon Thunder Level Five. And it is. Wind Witch Chimes. I need a bunch of these. <laughs> so, hopefully we should get at least two, three, I don't know. I think that's the first one. Virtual World. That's the first one of that one. Two, two. That deck is insane. Come on. Metal Fest Vanisher. We need secret rares. Come on, blisters, don't fail me. <laughs> Greater polymerization. Really cool card. Um, it's gonna be pretty nuts in fluffles and fusion decks in general, but really cool card. Arm Dragons under level three. Trying to go through this as quickly as possible. Because all the comments have been seen. Everybody's seen the comments a bunch. White baking. Nice. Great for my skull servant deck. I think we're probably halfway now. And we've only pulled two secret rares out of 50 packs. Just about 50, I would say 50 packs. That's crazy. 
Orange Dragon Thunderbolt. But, hey, there's still a chance. Still a chance. Another Warlock 40th. Ojama Pink. Oh, there's a flash. Nice. That is the first one I have of that card. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely gonna, probably going to have to pick up at least two more for the whole deck. All right. So three secret rares. Hopefully, we can pull about four more. <laughs> Tri Brigade Kit. Nice. Good card. Tri Brigades are really good, really cool. This artwork is really cool for reinforcement of the army troops with Marauding Captain. That's just that's just very clever. I like it. Wind Witch Chimes. There's another one. That's cool for Dream Warriors. Marcosia Constellar Caduceus. I don't think we pulled any of the Wind Witch Ultra Rares other than the Synchro. Is there a new monster that's a Ultra Rare? Another Maha Vilo. That looks so cool. Really fun card back. The original one was really a fun card to use back in the day. When Magic Ruler came out with all the equips, man. That was a really cool card. Old decks used utilize that thing. Kit again. Come on, secret layers. I really don't think there's any type of ratios to these blisters. I think they're just, just, you know, absurdly random. That's why we are here today. Man, that's the first one of that. Spriggan's watch. First one of that. That's why we're here today to try to figure out if there are any. Not real ratios, but real chances of trying to pull. Secret rares. Starlight. Because of my Phantom Rage blisters that I opened, which I didn't open off camera, I actually pulled pretty nuts. I pulled uh, Zeus, Zeus and um, what was the other one? The Arc Rebellion Dragon, I think. I can't remember exactly what it's name, but I pulled them as well, but I only bought maybe 15, 20 packs of that, and I pulled two secrets. Those two secrets. Nice, there's a Bachelos. Cool looking dude. Let's get the Pot of Prosperity. Another dual avatar empowered dude. An ultra. <laughs> Another white Becky. Almost threw the cards in the floor. <laughs> threw the bulk in the floor. Uh-oh, what is this? Why is this backwards? Wow! Man, um, that could have been something awesome. <laughs> Error pack. What if that was a starlight? That would have been crazy. Another kit. Man. <laughs> Seen a lot of that card. Definitely printed more in blisters than in a box. There's the Ancient Warriors guy. He's pretty good as well. Where's the Spriggan's Ultra? Have we pulled the Spriggan's Ultra? I don't think we have the Xyz guy. Another Constellar dude. Oh, there's lots of packs down there. I see. 
Is this a win witch card? Yes, it is. Okay. Virtual Lula. Virtual World Tutu. Excuse the heck out of me. Another Hyper Tyrion Sacred Tree Beast. Cool looking card. Probably too late. Nice little support card for those plant, plant exceeds decks. I wonder if that would be played in. I'll have to look at my Sylvan deck and see if I can make that guy. That's so much for eight, right? Another Arm Dragon level 10 white. Awesome. We are looking real thin here, and we've only pulled three secret rares. Whew. Not looking good. Another dual avatar empowered guy. Not looking good. Oh, there's a fourth one. Nice. Miradora, that's a decent pull. I really like this card. Wind, dragon, effect monster. He's a hand trap guy, right? Yes, yes, he's definitely going to end up in the Infinity deck for sure. Nice card. Probably play him in the uh, Armed Dragon deck. Come on. Just more secrets. Not, man, that's like three <laughs> really close in a row. So four secrets out of 100 packs. There's definitely no ratios to these. It is not good. I'm Dragon Thunder level five. But that's why we're doing this today, to record it, to show you guys as to, you know, be careful with those blisters. I see what it said. Buy the singles. <laughs> Wind Witch Freeze Bell. There's the first freaking one out of 100 packs. We pulled one Freeze Bell. That's ridiculous. I was like, that's the one that I was looking for. Is, why can't we have like a couple of that? But no, you know, that other Ultra and Dual Avatar guy has been overprinted as an Ultra. So definitely no ratios, but definitely just a bunch of randomness. Oh my God. <laughs> Back to back freeze bells. All right. Okay. Cool. That works. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> There's the chimes. All right. Interesting. It's probably telling us that there's definitely not a, another secret. Oh, yes. Yes, we got it. Yes. I'm so happy we pulled this. That card is gorgeous. Wow. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Um, so we're at, was that our fifth secret rare we pulled? Not bad, not bad. I'd really be happy if we can pull at least one more secret rare. That 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 pull right there makes up for a, a decent amount of this. Uh, I mean, it's a good card, but it's not extremely expensive right now. That just at least makes it. Uh, worth it currently <laughs> to get that all right another greater polymerization that's decent now if we can pull the pot of prosperity now that would be that would be good that would be really good war rock gactos i don't think we pulled the war rock secret or the spell maybe is it a spell i can't remember if it's a spell or not Oh, the Eldritch guy, yes! Cool. I think his artwork is nuts. One Eldritch and one level of five and higher zombie monster. That's cool. His artwork's sick. He's not the great, you know, he's not super expensive right now, but still, I'm happy that we pulled at least six secret rares and we've still got some more packs to go, so. Maybe 10, 15, 10, 12 packs left. Materiactor Giga Gross. Interesting. I think that's a decent card. Good little XCs. Come on. Can we do it? Another chimes. 
Definitely got all those that I needed. Ooh, Avatar. Yes! Yes, we did it! Nice! Arm Dragon Flash. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Another Arm Dragon Flash. Happy to see that. Another secret rare. Come on. Let's get the Pot of Prosperity. Can we do it in 100 packs? That would be absolutely crazy. Hell, even one, secret, one more secret rare would be great. One more would be okay. Oh my, yes, yes, we did it. We freaking did it, 100 packs and we pulled the prosperity. Yes, we did it. That is awesome, this card's really cool. I don't think this card's extremely great, but I think it's, I think it's gonna be good in the future. I, I it, It's a pot card, you know. It's it's gonna be good in the near future for sure. Some decks can utilize it really well right now. Um, it's just expensive, but probably printed, you know, super short printed, you know, Konami. Short print the crap out of everything like they always do. A few more packs left, guys, and we're almost to the end of this 100 pack blister Walmart buyout opening, whatever you wanna call it. Ancient Warriors. Can we pull a Starlight? I think it would be absolutely nuts. It would be absolutely nuts. But I'm happy that we've turned our, you know, this opening around by getting some secret rares. Definitely that we needed and we pulled the top two for sure. So the top two secrets in the set. Psychic Eraser Laser. It's a good card. Five packs left. So we are at 95 packs. Here we go. I haven't put a lot of the S4 stuff. Virtual World 2-2. Two -two. I think we pulled a Gravitino. We didn't pull a Rappa though. Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. Come on. Can we do it? It would be nuts. Ah, rebellious. Ancient Warrior, dude. The 99th pack. Here we go. Come on. Our Dragon Thunder level 5. <laughs> the final pack of our 100 pack buyout. Blister pack buyout of Walmart's booster pack. Can we do it? Come on, secret rare. Let's get one. Oh, white bacon. <laughs> All right, it's a good suit. It's a decent super to end with. Not bad, not bad. All right, guys, that is it for this crazy opening that we did. Um, let's recap these secret rares because that's really what we were looking for. Um, I'd say we did decently well. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. We took the chance to try to pull, you know, spend a lot of money and took the chance to try to pull a, a Starlight and some Seeker Rares, and we did pretty decent. So we did pull the Pot of Prosperity. We pulled the Underworld Goddess. We pulled two Arm Dragon Flashes. There's the second one. Nice. We pulled the Arm Dragon Thunder Level 10 cover card. We pulled the Eldlick. And we pulled the Miradora and the Bridgehead. So overall, what is that? One, two, three, four. We did pull eight secret rares. Um, so, you know, equivalent to four boxes, we pulled eight secret rares. We didn't get Starlight, but I'm happy with our pulls. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.